what is up guys it's Dan here and welcome back to another video tutorial and today we're gonna learn how to make trunks in your port alright so yeah let's get started so the first thing that we need to do right now is to create a network so right now we only have one network so by default this would be your VLAN 1 so we need to create a new network type in uh, let's say uh, you can choose corporate or VLAN only it, it will still work so type in management we're gonna create this one corporate um, subnet you can type in 192.168.1 one slash 24 you can assign it to villain 2 and this would be oh I'm sorry guys uh, it's always a good habit if you make your subnet to be the same as your villains so that it will be easier for you guys to identify which VLAN you are on right now so please do practice that one and here you can set a DHCP range so you click this one you can enable DHCP guarding if you want if you want this network IP to be the only DHCP in your VLAN alright so let's go ahead and create a couple more of this Mm -hmm. same process let's call this staff you can name this as you can you can put an IP like 168.3.1 slash 24 put 3 and then enable guarding because I don't want other DHCP in my VLAN I only want this one Sorry, forgot to put in the range. Save. Let's create more. Say um, operations. Hmm. It's really up to you guys, but I'm just showing you guys how to do it, anyways. So click in this. Type in one nine two dot one six eight dot four dot one slash twenty four go ahead and type in VLAN four enable yeah and then enable the HCP guarding let's say one nine two one six eight dot four one go ahead and click save Alright, so right now we have four VLANs actually, but this one should be the management VLAN right now because it's on VLAN 1 and I want my VLAN 1 to be my management VLAN, so just leave it like that. Uh, you can go ahead and edit this if you want to. Uh, that's uh, that's perfectly fine for me. So now let's go to the switch. All right. If you have an access point right now, you can configure this. But right now I don't have any access point in my infrastructure, so I'm not gonna deal with that right now. So go ahead and go to devices here. Go to your switch double click that and then go to believe network VLANs you see there's um, actually there's two ways of creating a VLAN here you can tag you can tag and then tag some VLANs if you want to but for now we're just gonna deal of adding a trunk alright so now we need to go to our switch go to ports Let's say I want to configure port 
5 to be my trunk port to my switch it can be a Cisco switch, an HP curve switch, whatever switch, as long as it is a managed switch. Alright, so go ahead and click edit. Here, you can specify which VLANs you want to allow. Right now, if you choose all and hit apply, all the VLANs coming from your Cisco switch will be will be allowed to pass through port 5 as, since it will be configured as a trunk port right now if you want to choose let's say only you want to allow only this VLANs so you need to tag this VLAN alright so what you need to do right now is actually go to configuration name for the VLANs that we want to allow to pass through our trunk so let's name this as trunk native LAN alright so in this example uh, we can choose a native VLAN which is LAN and we can check which VLANs we want to allow to pass through our trunk alright click apply Alright, so let's go back to our ports. I believe we choose port 5 uh, from all. We don't want to choose all because if you have a lot of VLANs, then that will allow all of this, well, except this able, to pass through your port 5. So we don't want that. We want to allow only specific VLANs to be able to pass through our network interface 5 in our unify switch so click the this one and hit apply so yeah that's pretty much it now your port 5 is now a trunk port to your manageable switch so yeah that's pretty much it guys so if you find this video very helpful or you have any questions feel free to leave a comment like and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos that I will be uploading soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.